when I tell my friends, I make boots, they're like, okay, cool, how much do they cost? And then I tell them the price tag, oh, six, seven hundred bucks. And they think, who the hell pays six to seven hundred bucks for a pair of boots? So the company started in 1964, and there had been three other owners prior to me, and I bought it in 2013. It basically was a boot shop, and I always thought boot makers were cobblers, but cobblers are sort of shoe repair people, and cord wieners are boot makers. It's a kind of a old world trade. It was something that families did. They passed this trade on to the next generation because everybody wears shoes. We probably make things less efficiently and like with less automation than were made like 100 years ago. And so that's really the advantage like on a, on a qualitative standpoint that you get with having that handmade component is you can use leather that's a little bit thicker. You can use midsoles that are a little bit thicker. You can use soles that are a little bit thicker. And so you do get um, you know, a much more robust product, um, of course, at a commensurately higher cost. Well, there's only two of us back there right now that operate a machine called a curved needle sole stitcher. It's a unique type of sewing machine. It operates with a double action to lock a stitch between the pieces of the sole that are laminated to the shoe. And then the stitching is an uh, integral part of the, of the structure of the shoe to keep the sole attached to the upper. That's what I do on every boot that comes through the shop, pretty much. You know, something that's kind of interesting about our boots is that they're really all made the same way. Different soles, different leathers, but in terms of kind of the construction process, they're all the same. The boots that we make for construction workers, firefighters, even people who work in an office, those boots are built with, you know, the best quality material we can find. They're all natural materials. We do have some, you know, rubber in there, obviously, but, uh, you know, I think it's kind of interesting in the shoe world because we're all used to shoes that are mass produced and these are made from animals and you can still see some of the scars on them and the, the vein lines and that sort of thing. And barbed wire scratches. Barbed wire scratches, yep. But, you know, it's still, in my opinion, you know, one of the best materials to make a footwear from is, is that leather. It's like the way things used to be done and the way it's been done for over 150 years. In this area in particular, it's just the way things have been done, that's what drew me to it. You know, Spokane has a kind of a, a pretty well-known, in the right circles, boot industry, which is really unusual. You're really talking like Texas for uh, cowboy boots. New England still has a few factories left. And then of course, you know, the, the big work boot makers like Red Wing in, in the upper Midwest. But Spokane is, is kind of this other relatively small, but still thriving maker scene. And I think it's actually a really cool thing that we have in this area. It has a name, the Northwest Boot. So our hallmark of our Pacific Northwest boots is going to be our leather shank and our high arch and high heel construction. Because we believe that when you stand on your feet, the high heel puts your body in a position so all your weight is on the arches of your feet. The arch is naturally a strong shape in everybody's foot. So that's why when you support the arch and you put all your weight on there instead, you can stand there for 12 hours a day and not feel it at all. You know, footwear, it's important. I think people kind of see that and honestly, our customer base is evolving tremendously and has in the past, just in the past few years. We have customers in every state of the union and internationally, you know, Australia and Germany and UK and Austria and, you know, you name it, it just keeps going. And I'm kind of amazed at how popular we become. Most of the shoes that we made when I started years ago were for firefighters, actually people who are going to put their shoes through the paces every day. Now, a much larger portion of our market is going to our heritage line, uh, which is more uh, of a casual, everyday boot. But, you know, it's quite a transformation in four or five days from a, a raw piece of leather to a, a finished boot. I think my thing is I've always liked being the the worker be, I guess. There's something very satisfying to me about finishing the product, having done my part and sending it on down the line. But knowing what these boots go on to do, whether that's logging, doing wildland firefighting, doing major construction jobs, stuff like that, or you know, someone might just be wearing them as fashion. I think that's just as cool. I like having done my part and then sending that product forward and seeing someone use it day to day. For whatever reason, this trade got in to me. Some people feel like maybe they're, they're born to be something, you know. I don't know, I really enjoy it. I really, really like making shoes. And I like making high quality shoes. I like making something that 
at the end of the day feel proud of. Mm -hmm.